Good morning, Eagles. I'm Gretzi Saval. And I'm Andrew Demuan. Today is a 456 block day with no ATP. And, and you're, you're watching, watching KOHS, KOHS News this, this morning. morning. Seniors, if you didn't get the chance to write a letter to yourself at the end of last semester, no worries. We're having another letter writing event today in the pavilion during lunch. You also have the option to write yourself your own letter on your own time and drop off the letter at that same time. Remember that you get to open your letter at the end of the year before graduation. Speaking of lunch, Eat Club meets today in the garden and we will be doing a fun winter craft. On the topic of winter, what did you do during the break? Your I didn't team? really do much this break because I wanted to stay safe during COVID. Mm. Yeah, it's getting scary out here. Let's send it over to Chanel for more updates on the pandemic. Hi, I'm Chanel and this is Chanel's COVID Cautions where I tell you updates about COVID and how to handle the situation properly. It is especially important to follow safety protocols when COVID has two new variants, Delta and Omicron. Let's go check out some stats. The daily average as of January 16th is 801,903 people. In this month alone, COVID cases have increased to over 600,000 cases a day where people who are vaccinated can get affected by the new variants. The Omicron variant seems to have more mutations than the Delta variant, causing both to be more likely to evade vaccine protections. Eagles, please wear your mask properly, wash your hands, stay at home if needed. If you have any of these symptoms, stay at home. Stay safe, Eagles. Back to the studio. Wow, these rising numbers are real. Yeah, and all the new variants too. Omicron, Delta, and Deltacron. Where are these names coming from? Well, Deltacron is a mix of Omicron and Delta, with the spreadability of Omicron and the intensity of Delta. What the heck? I'll definitely be staying indoors now. You too, right? Well, I actually forgot. I went to Cancun this break. What? I thought you were trying to stay safe. Yeah, but it was so much fun. Let's hear from Gio about more ways to prevent the spread. Oh, hi, didn't see you there. My name is Dr. Boxine, a leading researcher from the CDC. With resurgence of COVID-19 cases with this new variant, people are more vulnerable to the dangers of the virus than ever before. In order to avoid these dangers, here are a few tips that the CDC can give you. Number one, wear a mask. As seen from the video, always remember to wear a mask indoors. Number two, don't share foods or drinks with others. Hey man, can I have this for your water? Sure man. What you just did was dangerous. Huh? Huh? COVID-19 has been affecting our daily lives for years, so it is up to you to help prevent the spread. Do your part and keep your loved ones safe. I'm Dr. Boxine, leading researcher from the CDC, and I hope for your safety. We really have to work hard to keep each other safe. It's crazy how many people are missing school. It's really important to follow these steps so that we can still participate in our club. Yeah, and the club assembly is coming up, so all our clubs will be showcased soon. I wish I was in the club. I want to be recognized. Well, aren't you in the Kaylee Chess Club? Oh, you're right. Eagles, if you want your club to be showcased, follow these steps given to us by our ASB. Here, we see a student who makes the decision to litter, and that is not Pete. 
Students should not litter as we should maintain our school clean. Here we see a student who makes the right decision and throws his trash away peacefully. This is Pete. Students, we need to respect our school and maintain our school clean. And that's it for today, Eagles. I'm Anjan Mwan. And I'm your T. Sawa. And this, this has, has been, been your KHS, KHS News This, this morning. morning. Eagle, Eagle out! out.